wrote down for the adventure, man. We have to do it. We have to show them this. This is the start of San Diego. I think people are going to want to know if it's safe, and I want to know too. We have to go. Are you down? Are you, are you, are you okay with that? I'm in the car, aren't I? What does it truly mean to live like a local? In my travels around the world, I've studied and practiced this concept. And guess what? Now, I get to show you how. My name is Austin Auger. I have a background in history, a thirst for adventure. Oh, and I never need a tourist map. I'll be touring San Diego County and beyond with my buddy Adam Brick. Follow us for the next 30 days, and we'll show you exactly how the locals eat, drink, and live the good life here in San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Often what comes to mind is sunny beaches, beautiful people, and an all around great holiday spot. San Diego possesses a unique dynamic, a melting pot all mixed up living side by side. There's every branch of military represented here. Heaps of college students from all over the world. World-class medical professionals, techies, foodies, LGBT communities, there's surfers, there's golfers, racehorse owners, transients, and billionaires. From San Diego's most southern point up to Cali's largest military base, Camp Pendleton. Follow us and take the ride. All right, dude, this is it. Last USA exit, Camino del Plaza, you ready? No bailing out now. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Before crossing the border, you should always remember to dress down. And don't show any signs of wealth or things that can get jacked. Take money out of your wallet, carry the smaller bills in one pocket and the larger bills in another. And then finally, fold one larger bill and place that into your sock. Believe me, this has saved me in more than one instance. The official border crossing from Tijuana, Mexico into San Diego was called San Isidro. It's named after the patron saint of farmers. This border crossing is the busiest border crossing in the world with an upward of 70 million people crossing annually. Mexico has been plagued by cartel violence over the years, which has scared many tourists away. This is actually our own first time back in years, so we decided to keep filming to a minimum. Mexico is the kind of place where you're getting some spaces and then there's a child's place life. Uh, look at that. For $10 US, you can catch a cab right from the border crossing down to the border wall right on the Tijuana beach, or how the locals say it, Playa de Tijuana, which is located directly next to the bullfighting ring, Plaza de Toro. This beach area is filled with families swimming, young lovers strolling the wooden boardwalk, and fresh seafood plucked just minutes from the ocean. Not to mention this is the very site that after the Mexican-American War ended, officials met to define the present-day Mexican-American borderline. This is definitely a place worth checking out for yourself. We tried to cross the border the other way, but we were stopped promptly by the U.S. Border Patrol. Kids, don't try this at home. Despite the negativity that the media might betray about Mexico and Tijuana, it always holds a dear place in my heart. It's just like any other major city in the world. Just be aware of your surroundings, speak a little of the local tongue, and don't be an idiot, and you're gonna be fine. Back on California soil, we decided to check out the view from our side of the fence. Maybe a nice place to run a horse, but we'll take you to some of the more family-friendly beaches in episodes to come. I had a great time, but I gotta tell you, I'm glad that I'm back over here and I can use my cell phone again. True, and drink the water. Next spot? Next spot, we got T1 right here. Imperial Beach. My friend lives over here and she's got a Navy husband, so uh, let's uh, shack up for the night and hit Coronado tomorrow. That's like rich old people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's a cool local spot, man. I'll, I'll show you what's up. Let's go check it out. Right. Next time we explore the famous crowned city, Coronado Island. Feel free to tag along on a northbound adventure as we showcase more of what's local here in San Diego, California. Vaya con Dios, amigos.